Eyes is here, nigga. Let's go. Look how he's doing it. Look how he's doing it. He's doing it. Yes, sir. Big game. Big game in the building. Yo, sir. Yo, sir. Guys is here. All right, all right. Check me out, y'all. Check me out, man. I'm talking about, like, that was a beautiful thing. I'm talking about whenever you can see like two enemies like that, I'm talking about like Bloods and Crips. I mean, whenever you can see them attach their flags to one another and the motherfucker throwing up blood and the motherfucker throwing up Crip and shit like that and ain't nobody trying to kill each other, that's a beautiful thing right there. You see what I'm saying? Um, back in my day, you know what I'm saying, there was a thing called United for Peace. You know what I mean? Where they were trying to unite all the nations. You know what I'm saying? That all the Vice Lords, Black Stones, Cobras, Latin Kings, you know, all the disciples, the Black Gangsters, the uh, Gangster Disciples, the Black Disciples, you know what I'm saying? The Four Corner Hustlers, the Souls, you know, everything they were trying to unite, you know what I'm saying? They were just trying to keep the peace, you know what I mean? It lasted for a little bit, but, you know, it, it just, you know, it, it, the blood been shed, and sometimes when blood is shed, some people just can't get over it, right? But what I brought y'all here today, I want to tell y'all about our peace treaty. You know what I'm saying? The peace treaty that we established. And this is all facts, but it is crazy how the peace treaty was, uh, how we got the peace treaty. It wasn't no big ass sit down, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't no motherfuckers coming in with dogs and shit. It wasn't that movie type shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about this shit was spontaneous, right? But we established the peace treaty for period of time, right? So, this I had all happened. One day, me and one of the lords, we had a spot on Penn. Penn is a big street over in North Minneapolis, right? Anybody that's on here from Minneapolis will know. Penn is like a, a big street, you know what I mean? Everybody got to take Penn to go places and shit like that. It's just one of them type of main avenues, right? So, we had a spot on Penn. And what I mean by a spot, we originally from the projects over north. But we had a spot where we was making our money on pen, on 29th and pen. So every now and then, like I say, pen is a big street. The GDs that we was in war with will ride down pen. And they'll see us out there like, you know, like, why they ain't in the projects? What they doing on pen? You see? And they would do what comes natural. They'll be hanging out the car, throwing down the fire throwing down UVL, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we is. We unknowns, you know what I'm saying? We vice lords, right? So, one day, bro, a hot summer day, right? We at our spot, me and one of the older lords, we at the spot. I'm young at this time, I'm probably like 16, 17. I don't care about life, I'm ready to die. I just don't care, I'm that young, right? But at the same time, I'm starting to get some money now. You understand what I'm saying? We done got us a plug now. We starting to see some money. You see, we got spots and shit like that now. We starting to see some money. So, two GDs, bruh. One of them named Biz, one of them named Lil D. Rest in peace to both of them brothers, man. You understand what I'm saying? Came to our spot. I mean, they didn't come to our spot. They walking past, right? We watching them. Damn, hold on. Is that Lil D? That's Biz, right? But by this time, we've been warned for, for, for months and years and shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? And we tired. We trying to get some money now. I'm talking about blood been spilled, man. But it's just the war going on too long and we tired, man. We trying to live and we trying to get some money. So the older brother like, hold on. Because he already know me. I'm a fool with this shit. I'm finna run straight out the motherfucker and just get to doing what I know how to do, right? He, hold on, sub. Hold on, Lord, right? Hey, he like, hey, let us holler at y'all, right? Now, understand this right here. Nine times out of ten, bro, when you game banging, you game banging against somebody that you know. You game banging them against a motherfucker that you probably went to school with or you played basketball with or something like that. Like, you know this person, right? 
And so the Lord, he knew Biz. Biz, let me holler at you, G. When we talk like that, knowing that we vice lords, when we call a gangster disciple G, we showing respect to him. And we letting him know, look, I ain't on no game banging time or none of that. When I call him G, you understand what I'm saying? When I when I speak to a gangster disciple and I say, hey, let me holler at you, G. And he say, what's up, Lord? We on peace time. We ain't game banging. That's just how we used to do it back in the day. I don't know if they still doing it like that, but that's just how we carried it. And that right there allowed us to know that if I can say, if I can call a gangster disciple G without harming my pride and he can call me Lord without harming his pride, we can communicate. So he like, let me holler at you, G. B is like, no, nah, come over here, come across the street, Lord. So boom, now we understand we got some respect there, right? I ain't gonna lie, I got my sword on me. Lord got his sword, he got his sword on him. He had a motherfucking 17 shot Ruger. I had a big ass 4-4, four -four, right? So we walking over there. We gotta walk across the street, cause remember I told y'all, peeing a big ass street, so we gotta walk across the street. And cars is always coming up and down, peeing like this here. So we walk over there, it's hot as hell. Now mind you, it's hot. Lil D, rest in peace, Lil D got on a big ass starter coat. So we already know what time it is with Lil D. Both of these niggas, we already know what time it is with both of these niggas anyway because they real shooters, just like we is. They gangsters, right? They ain't playing, right? And not only that, let me back up a little bit, right? These niggas is from Chicago. These, and that's how we initially got in tour with these niggas. These niggas ride through our hood in the projects, four Chevys deep, four to a car, they had bang to the right. Our hats to the left, we out there thick. They hanging out the car doing this shit, throwing down UVL and throwing down the five. We ain't going for that shit. So now, how they drop the rakes now, they do like this, you know what I'm saying? We didn't, we, back then, GDs used to throw the shit up like this. This was they fort, they, you knew that it was a fort. Right, this how they threw them motherfuckers up, right? Or like this, or like you knew it was a fork, right? So we like this here, letting them know, like, okay, that's what y'all on, no, GDK. You know, we on that. They on some VLK, we on some G, we on some GDK, right? That kicked the wall. That simple, y'all. That simple, right? That kicked off our war, right? Just hand gestures kicked off a war, right? So now let's get back to the story. We get over there, right? The older Lord brother that I'm with, he like, man, he get to popping it with uh, Biz. Like, man, G, listen, man, this shit been going on too long. We trying to get some money. We see y'all trying to get some money, man. You understand what I'm saying? Man, look, y'all rolled through there and y'all did this, man. We wasn't even on that with y'all, man. This, that, and the other. And before that, we was cool with a couple of y'all family members. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said again, the people that you game banging with, you know. Now me, I'm from Memphis, born in Memphis, and I was raised in Minneapolis. So I don't know these niggas from Chicago. Lord do. Lord from Chicago. So Lord know these niggas. I don't know them. But by them being in Minnesota, I knew some of the people that they associated with, right? So there it is. They talking. Boom. I'm sitting there, I'm I'm young, I'm still wild. I got my hand on this motherfucking fo fo the whole time, like, cause I'm just thinking at any moment, it can go down, you know what I'm saying? So I, uh-uh, I ain't going, you know what I'm saying? I wanna shoot it out and all that old type of shit. I really wasn't on no peace treaty shit, but Lord, he older than me and he understand, he understand what I'm saying a little bit better than I do, so he on the peace treaty shit. Boom, they, they talking, they talking, they talking. All right, so now, by that, by the time they get done talking, Lord, like, look, we got a blunt, man. Come over here and fuck with us then, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit over with, man. Come smoke this blunt with us. So Biz and Lil D, like, all right. So before they do that, though, we let them know. what, what The older Lord brother, he let them know. He like, look, I'm letting y'all know right now, man. We strapped. He up the Ruger, right? I up the four four. We both upped them and put them back. Like, we just letting y'all know we strapped. They, we strapped too. Tell me why this nigga Beers pull out a faux faux that looked just like mine. Mine's was chrome, though. His was black. And this nigga Lil D, bro. Remember I told y'all, it's hot as hell outside. And this nigga got on the starter coat. 
This nigga up a tech like, yeah, we strapped, G. I'm like, God damn, boy. A father ran across them, ran across that street on these niggas, man. <laughs> that nigga with that tech would have got to let that motherfucker go, but I ain't care. That just was the life I was living back then. So now check it out. They come over to our spot. We not in our neighborhood. We at a spot. You know what I'm saying? So they come over to our spot. We sitting out there smoking the blunt. Now remember I told y'all that Penn is a is a big street, right? Everybody and their mama gonna ride down Penn at some point if you over north in Minneapolis. You, you gonna ride down Penn, right? Tell me why the other GDs, they homies, ride past, look, see Biz and Lil D over there, right? They, we tell them, man, come back. I'm talking about this, come back, come on. This peace treaty shit, we ain't on that. We tell them, come back. They bust a you, boom. They pull up on us. It's three cars. All GDs. It's three cars. They hop out. Man, G, what's going on? Biz and them get to laying it down to them. Man, folks, listen, this the thing. Woo, this, that, and the other. Woo, woo. Vic and Jesse with these niggas. These are leg legendary names for the GDs over north, right? Rest in peace, Vic. I don't know what's going on with Jesse. I ain't seen them in the wild, so I don't know what's going on. But rest in peace, Vic, too, right? So boom, Vic get the popping it with us like, man, look, check this out, bro. Like, man, that shit dead. We ain't on that shit. That shit over with. We trying to get some money, man. This, that, and the other. Woo, woo, woo. So we kicking it with each other. I right, bet. So they bust they weed down. We smoking weed with our arch enemies. Motherfuckers that we been trying to kill and they been trying to kill us and everything. Motherfuckers been shot, done died, all type of shit. We kicking it on the porch. Ain't number two of us, and it's like shit. At least 15 of they motherfucking ass. They deep as hell. The GD's always deep. I don't give a fuck where you go, man. If there's some gangster disciples somewhere, man, they ass is deep, period, right? So it's like 15, 12 of they ass or something like that. It's only me and Lord, right? Boom. Some more GD's. That's plug with them. Ride past, right? But when they ride past, they out the window. Doing what comes normal. They disrespect him, right? Throwing down the UVL. So now all these GDs right here, right? <laughs> we don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Because all these GDs is right here. So we let them get away with that. But they told us straight like this, bro. They said, look, we done with that, bro. We trying to get some money. But them right there, them niggas right there, they said they ain't going to stop until one of y'all did. And that was that, bro. That's how we got our peace treaty with the GDs over north. Now, let me give y'all an understanding. When I say us, that's just my deck. Not all the vice lords over north. Not all the vice lords over south. Not all the vice lords in St. Paul and shit like that. No. It was just my deck of lords. You understand what I'm saying? And they deck of GDs. And that was it. I'm talking about, man, that's how we got our peace treaty. It was spontaneous as hell, right? It didn't last long, but we had it for a minute. You know what I'm saying? We had it for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't last long. But the thing I wanted to say to y'all is this right here, man. Listen, it's all about communication. It's a lot of niggas in wars right now, man. A lot of game bangers that's game banging right now, bruh. That just need somebody just to sit in the middle and talk. Need somebody to sit in the middle and just be like, hey man, check this out, man. What's 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 the problem, man? Like, how can we get past this? How can we stop the killing? Right? Because one thing about young gang bangers, they they got too much pride, bruh. They don't want no, they wanna kill and, and they wanna die and all that old type of shit, man. They ain't trying to hear that shit. But if an older brother, OGs, elites, governors and stuff like that, you understand, they sit down and talk, man, it, it can be peace in these streets, man. Because don't nobody want to die at the end of the day, even though we all got to. But don't nobody really want to if they got something to live for. The only people that really want to die in this game banging shit is motherfuckers that ain't got nothing to live for. Motherfuckers that ain't getting no money. Motherfuckers ain't got no kids. They ain't got nothing going on for them in their life. They want to die and they want to kill. 
But the motherfuckers that's getting money and got something to live for, they'd rather live. So that's the thing. Somebody got to sit down and communicate. Somebody got to sit down and talk. Somebody got to take that pride off and go ahead and say, man, look, we got to do this for something bigger. Not just because I feel a certain type of way or something like that. No, it's more to it. And I want to save lives. This hood educated, man. Not lame related, man. Peace and love, man. And y'all take care of yourself out there.